Awali mubali ntoti amba kuwa ni ya soka wako Hamjambo Your Excellency Governor And my brother Super Senator Please join me in calling Onyonga Super Senator And that's our title for him Please One round of applause for Senator Onyonga has made our work easy because he has done most of our speeches. Do you agree with me? Yes. And so, Secretary, you had given us one hour. Onyonga alone has done that one hour. <laughs> And indeed, you have been told I'm a church elder. So what I'm stood to do is possibly to introduce uh, governor and uh, offer a word of prayer so that you go home. <laughs> a few comments, though. Uh, those who do not know me, I'm Honorable Dr. Robert Yonsari Munda. Um, a member of parliament some time ago in Yemba Church. I took over from Honorable Simon Yachai. And um, I'm now the running mate to Honorable Paul Simbarati. <laughs> Most of the things that have been said here are my dear teachers. I've been looking at Senator Onyonga speak. And indeed he has been lining up assignments to the governor whom I'm deputy, deputy. So as deputy I was wondering what is it that we shall not do right. <laughs> he is the overseer. And so all these things that we are talking about, drugs in hospitals, running water, madaktari, name them. If we looked at our cities, our towns, wherever you've come from, there's garbage everywhere. And assuming you are, you are nurses who are out there, they were employed one time, they have been removed because they were asking for their I'm sure you are. You are, you are. are the unions here? Yes. I would expect the unions are here. Yes. So if you are asking for your right, you are sent packing. You go home. Some of them are needed to give medical attention to our population, to our people. But because you are asking for your right, go home. Let them die. Between January and February, our level six, what we call level six hospital, has had 363 people die in the two months. And so what are we saying? Who is it here among us who has not lost a loving one? Who has not mourned a relative, a friend? because of our negligence to over service? Is that why we are running as a Simba team? We have a job to do. Let's do it together with the teaching fraternity. And I welcome you to join us as you give us your support, which we are here indeed asking for, that please the teaching fraternity, teacher leadership, we are requesting, asking, for your support for Simba Radhi. Who is, who is it, who is telling you, who is cheating you that we are so naive to politics, so stupid in our planning that we shall be able to leave behind the opinion shapers in the society the highest number of knowledgeable people, the teachers. You live with 
them behind in your planning and expect it to succeed? No. So, this is political propaganda. I'm saying this. In our wisdom, in our planning, we realized there was a lot of pressure on the teachers that there were exams coming up in March. And we were weighing, shall we be right to meet the teachers at this time when they are under a lot of pressure to deliver the candidates? <laughs> we said, let's allow our teachers to close schools, exams get over, and then invite you, which we have done today, the teacher leadership. <laughs> well, we listen. Yes. Someone has said no. Were we listening? Yes. <laughs> Assuming we invited you, I saw you in the diaspora here. Assuming we invited you in the middle of March. The KCP was going on. The KCSC was going on. And you are all scattered. Very busy. Waking up early in the morning, closing in the darkness. And we tell you, come, we discuss politics. No. Were you in that kind of mind? No. So please, accept our timing of this invitation. <laughs> so that when we ask as delegates, as teacher leadership, when we ask you to get you, to get us your members, you would have understood where we are coming from. If anyone has a better formula of doing what we are doing today, then forgive us for the way we have arranged ours, but come on in supporting us. Yeah. The last one I will discuss here. I told you I come from Yeribari. And those who come from Yeribari understand me in what I'm saying now. When we were determining the headquarters for county government, when the devolution law came into place after the constitution 2010, which we were party to, Honorable Bonyonga and myself, we were in the parliament then. While sitting at the Kisi Institute then, which is now the Kisi Polytechnic, we discussed about having, and I've said this even on TV and radio, that when Kisi Central, and you know it, Kisi Central is Nyaribari Masapa, Nyaribari Chacha, Bonchari, and we to the two constituencies. And those form Kisi Central. Then we have the Guja side. I've said on TV and in radio, that that was the unwritten agreement. An understanding that the people of Kisi County had that we have, when we have a governor from the Kisi Central, there are 10 years already done by Governor Ngwai. The next term or the next phase comes from Nguja. you will ask me, those who come from Key Center, the Onyonga chose to become senator. Why do you, you know the fact that there are governors running from the Yaribari region? If we follow the Yaribari thinking, would it be the unwritten agreement that we have Kisi Central good? Would it, we have carried that forward? Would it be fair, would it be fair to ourselves? No. So, if it's a major, he has been in the parliament for four and a few months, four, four years and a few months. I've been in the parliament for five years. Who told him I'll not run for governor? <laughs> <laughs> when Umboye was becoming governor, I didn't become a member of parliament. Must you come from parliament to become a, a governor? No. Must you? No. So, the unwritten agreement is if 
Kula, you are reasonable, support the Muja side for the second governor of Kisi County. <laughs> so, and therefore, I justify my running in opposition to my uncle, Professor Kelly, and my nephew, Mishmiwa Macho. <laughs> I'm justified. That's when you are reasonable. <laughs> Now, if you want to get reasonable, and you are running without looking at the history. History told us be reasonable, Kisi Central, Guja. I only ran for governor when Honorable Sibarati has finished this time. <laughs> because he comes from Guja. Therefore, after Guja, 10 years, then Kisi Central has a chance to bring another governor. <laughs> Would you support that kind of argument? Yes. <laughs> So then I'm so reasonable that all of you can support my thinking. <laughs>